These Valencia Tuscanies have been in my home theater for a year. Let's talk about how they stood the test of time, if I've had any issues with them, and why I will be selling them. So these chairs arrived a year ago, and when they first came in, we released an initial review video, which I will link in the top right-hand corner of this one. I also had bought the Valencia Veronas before I received these Tuscanies, uh, and completed a one-year review on those as well, which I'll also link in the top right-hand corner. I honestly can't believe that it's been a year since Valencia sent these chairs to me for review. Uh, this year went by so incredibly fast. So much has actually changed in my home theater in the past year. But one thing that remained the same was the row of four Valencia Tuscany premier seating in chocolate brown. But my family and I were incredibly impressed by the build quality and functionality of the Tuscany chairs, and even my wife loves them to this day. They actually do get used quite a bit. Sure, we do come down as a family and watch movies, uh, but they're mostly used by me. I use them to play some video games, watch some movies, and listen to music for just my leisure or pleasure time, but not as much as I'd like to. Often I'm just sitting for listening tests for gear or room calibrations or roo sessions, and sometimes I come down here just for some peace and quiet to work on my YouTube channel, write-ups and ideas and that sort of thing. But how did they hold up throughout all of their use? And were there any issues? That's what we're going to answer in today's video. Let's start off with the leather. Uh, the leather looks great in the chocolate brown, and I do enjoy the little bit of color that it adds to my room. And if I had to guess on how many times I've reclined the sweet spot chair alone, I would say somewhere around a thousand times, because if I am going to be sitting, I am reclining 100% of the time. It's just super comfortable for me, and I prefer it. And even after all of that, if I told you that the leather was brand new, you would believe me. Looking around the chairs, there is no sign of wear or tear, and to be honest, they even still smell new. Uh, they give that new leather smell to this day. The leather is plush and soft, and all around has held up incredibly well, and I haven't had one single issue with it whatsoever. Another aspect I haven't had any issues with are the creature comforts, like the USB charging ports and the LED lights. I've actually used the USB ports quite a bit for charging my Xbox controller and my phone, and it's worked great. I've never had any issues with any of them. Uh, it isn't the fastest charging, but it does work and it does work well. The LED lights don't get used a whole lot, except when I'm doing filming or to add some color to the pictures, etc. Uh, but when I'm watching or playing, I always have the LED lights off, which I imagine most people would because you don't want uh, the lights glaring on your TV or your projector screen. That being said, it is a very nice touch uh, because they do look good with them on. The controls on the side of each armrest also are lit up, and yet again, I have not had any issues with the lights on those controls either. And because they are on the inside of the armrest, there is no glare on any screens, nor have I ever found them distracting in any way. The adjustment switches themselves have also worked flawlessly without any hiccups whatsoever. Even after all of the use they've gotten, even the buttons look new without any wear on them whatsoever. The buttons control the adjustable headrest. lumbar support, reclining mechanism, the LED lights, but it also has a return to normal setting as well. So the button that turns the LEDs on and off with a short press will return all of the adjustments on the chair to their standard positions if you hold it down, which is a very helpful feature. One of my concerns when I received these chairs was that all of these adjustments, it's just more to go wrong, right? But actually Valencia proved my fears to be ill-founded and unjustified. I have constantly used the recline, headrest, and lumbar support functions on my sweet spot chair. And again, if I told you these chairs were brand new, you would have no reason not to believe me. They still operate with the same speed they did when I received them, and they're still incredibly smooth. They're also still very quiet. Well, I guess to be clear, uh, the motors are still incredibly quiet. The leather makes a squeaking sound when reclining and vice versa. which is even more a testament to the quality of the leather because there is no wear in the spots that rub either. I was actually given a pro tip from a viewer. He said that if you apply a little bit of Vaseline in the spots that rub, it will quiet them right down. But in all honesty, it doesn't really bug me that much. So I haven't bothered. Uh, but for those of you that get annoyed by the leather squeak, try a little bit of Vaseline. All right, let's move on to the armrests, which also show no sign of wear on the top. But in addition to that, they each lift to expose a handy and deep storage space, which I actually do use for charging cables, etc. Each one is equipped with a little gas shock to support the armrest in its open position. And in the same trend as everything else, I have had absolutely zero issues with any of them. They operate as new, just like everything else. So we've covered all of the creature comforts and the adjustments, but all of this wouldn't mean much if the chairs aren't comfortable or if the comfort doesn't stand the test of time. 
we also need to talk about why I will be selling them. But really quick, before we get into the comfort, why not subscribe, tick the bell icon if you do, and please take just one short little second to hit that like button, I truly do appreciate it. Okay, so let's talk comfort. I would consider these chairs to be medium firmness or the Goldilocks in the firmness department, if you will. Uh, they aren't too soft, they aren't too hard, but they seem to be just right. When we first received them, I actually found them to be incredibly comfortable right off the bat, uh, especially when I adjusted the lumbar and headrest support to my preference. It's obviously no secret that I am a bigger guy. Sure, the camera adds 10 pounds, but the rest of it is all me. So I really do put the support and comfort to the test. And yet again, Valencia comes through. Uh, the support and comfort is still there. I don't feel there has been any change whatsoever. I haven't even made a custom butt groove in the seat yet. So yet again, if I told you that the chairs were brand new, you would have no reason not to believe me when it comes to their support and comfort as well. So I know there's a lot of you probably asking yourselves by now, where do the negatives come in or where are the things that you don't like? And to be 100% honest guys, I really didn't find any. The chairs have held up actually perfectly. <laughs> it's literally like they're still brand new after a year. Everything still works and looks as it did when it was brand new and I can't fault their quality at all. Uh, the units I received are just amazing. There's no other way I can put it guys. I actually did try and find something negative to say about these chairs because I don't want you guys thinking I'm just saying positive things. Uh, but if you do watch the channel, you guys know that I'm honest with you guys. Uh, if there is anything negative, I always do point that out. And I think that is evident in my previous videos about some other products. But in this case, there was literally nothing negative that I could find based on the criteria that I was going off of. Uh, there's nothing that stands out in my mind about these chairs that's negative that I could tell you guys. So by now you must be asking why I'm selling the chairs if they've held up so incredibly well. Well, the reason I'm selling is because I've made a deal with uh, Valencia to upgrade to the Tuscany Ultimate Luxury Edition. One of the reasons I did want to upgrade from these chairs is not because there's anything wrong with them, but I did get them as independent chairs, or while well, it is a row of four, but each one has an armrest on either side, uh, which just is a little bit too big for my room. I thought it would work out well, and I mean, it really does, but the the uh, passageway on either side of the chairs is a little bit narrow. So with the upgrade, I have decided to go with a two seat love seat and then two uh, chairs with armrests on each side. So I will save about six to seven inches which is pretty much perfect for what I would need for the passageway on either side. Uh, so it's just gonna help me feel a little bit less cramped, I guess, in my room. So it will be a welcome addition. With the Ultimate Luxury Edition, Valencia took their luxury to a whole new level, given the name. Uh, so the whole chair is covered in 20,000 grain leather, along with a few other additions, and we'll cover all that once I get them in the home theater. So make sure that you stay tuned on the channel if you are interested in what the Ultimate Luxury Edition has to offer and what the differences are from the premium Tuscanies that we have here. All right, so back to the premium Tuscanies that we've been talking about in this video. To put it all simply, guys, if you had any doubt about the quality of Valencia home theater seating, don't. Before I had these Tuscanies, I had bought the Valencia Verona and the Valencia Pisa chairs, which I had mentioned earlier, uh, and I did link that video in the top right-hand corner. So these Tuscanies are the second set of Valencia home theater seating that I've had in this room. And all of the chairs I had held up just incredibly well without any issues to note. Uh, the quality seems to be there. They seem to use quality motors and quality parts, uh, at least in the chairs that I've had. I've had zero issues with any of the mechanisms whatsoever. And with all that said, guys, I really have zero hesitations for recommending these chairs to everyone, uh, which just sums it up perfectly. If you have been on the fence, I feel like you should just take the leap. I honestly believe that you will be as impressed as I am. But you know what else would impress me is if you would subscribe. Tick that bell icon if you do, and please take just one second out of your day to hit that like button. I truly do appreciate it. Remember to enjoy your systems in comfort. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.